This is Manny of the Waste with another Fallout 4 tip. Today we're talking advanced settlement defense. So this is mm, Coop Manor. It's in the red zone. It's a pretty hostile place. You'll get it mm, fairly later in the game. Okay, so there's a couple of things you're going to want to understand about settlement defense. Number one is that the enemy NPCs can't jump. And what that means is that low walls like this totally keep them out. So that's going to keep them from getting inside dealing with your settlers. So I've done a lot of the pre-work already. I've set up a fence along the perimeter all the way around. And what happens is they're going to just run up to the fence and start shooting. Which is fine, because uh, they can be dealt with. Okay. So the second thing is that you got to have an entrance into the settlement. Because your provisioner needs to come in. You can block it off, but it starts to glitch. And the provisioner starts to like go through walls. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything, but you, know, you can leave an entrance. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first level of defenses. You don't really need any perks to do these. They start with the waist high walls. These came with the settlement. You can't build these. The waist high walls and the level one turrets. Okay, so we want platforms for our turrets. That's usually the best way to do it. These bridges are perfect because you can set it as ever high or as ever low as you want. And then you just get the right position in. And then you can raise it just like that. Bam. Okay, and I want one more for this side. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these to support our turrets. I don't use traps. I've tried to use them before, but the fact that they have to be reloaded, I don't like. Because you can even get the terminal, you can make them dummy fire, whatever, but it just doesn't work. So. What I found is just to give them tons of turrets. So the next thing you need to know is that the auto fire of turrets can't harm your settlers. And that includes the rocket turrets, which is really good. They can't even hurt you because they fire kind of sloppily, but they're great. Okay, so you automatically get to build the level one machine gun turret gives five defense. And these are good. I mean, they're not as good as these, but they're still adequate. I like going with the heavy gunner machine turret. I, uh, most people should have gun nut if you have a gun build. Um, gun nut's pretty much essential. And we're just going to set them up in the flank. I like putting these out on the outside. And turrets are omnidirectional, which means they work in a 360. So if a raider did get inside the base he'd get gunned down the turret would swivel all the way around and then we're just gonna put one more right here okay so another thing to note when you put walls and pathing up the AI knows and instantly when you block off a settlement like how I've done over here the enemy AI knows that there's no way to get inside but one point, your choke point. So because of that, you want to just have nice fortified defenses. And this is pretty much level one defense. You just put as many turrets as you feel appropriate, and you can pretty much just call it a day. Later in the game, it gets a little more serious, and you're going to want some more defense. So now we're going to start talking about level 2. A, the heavy machine gun turrets are a must. They're really cheap, and they don't need power. So you can get them on really sweet locations, like on the tops of roofs and things like that. And then it's just going to work the courtyard. Okay, so now I want to talk about the most probably in my opinion the most valuable of the turrets it's a rocket turret 
they're fairly expensive. I'm not going to even lie. They are fairly expensive. But they also have unlimited ammo. They fire omnidirectional. And they fire rapid fire. I mean, they literally fire rapid fire. Anything that gets in the way of this turret is going down. Which is good. Now I gotta get the snap. Alright, I'll use some advanced techniques. There we go. And then we'll spin. Bam. Now, the bad part... is that it requires gun nut 3. But, like I was saying, if you're a gunfighter, you're going to want gun nut 3. Gun nut 3 is really good. It unlocks all the upgrades to uh, tactical shotgun, which is my monster killer. It's really nice. Okay, and it looks like I'm out of screws to finish up any more turrets, but we can get back to that. Instead, I want to go ahead and show you how power works in these places. Okay, so I have two generators set up back here, but if you notice, they have fortified walls. And that's because raiders and gunners, they like to lob Molotov cocktails over the low walls. And it's fine, it doesn't really get the settlers, but it does serious damage to the generators. And because of that, you won't be able to uh, power your missile turrets. And that's a bad thing, because that's pretty much how they can win. Okay, now we're going to go through the task of powering our turret. So, you know, lights and power video if you guys don't know about this. But we're just going to run power. I'm liking these tall pylons. They're expensive, but they, they seriously get the job done. And it lets me run my wires a lot more tactically. Because, you know, who doesn't like it when it looks good? Okay, one right here, one right there, and then one up here to the top. All right, and now if you see, we got omnidirectional 360 swivel. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more work off camera. I'm gonna add some more turrets. I'm gonna add some more rocket turrets. Um, 60 defense is pretty good for a really small settlement. In Sanctuary, I actually have 100 defense. And I don't use traps or anything. It's all turrets because the turrets are smart enough to keep the settlers safe. And then you're going to want to use your low rising walls to keep the enemy out because it's no good if they run inside of the settlement house. Build your low rise walls. Give yourself a nice choke point. Put your defenses at the choke point. Remember turrets are omnidirectional and they swivel. Okay, so I'll be back and we'll take a look at it. What the? So this is one of my other settlements. Uh, I waited around to get attacked, but you know they never want to attack me. But this uh, pretty much displays it. Uh, this isn't even an attack. They're actually going out to kill some people who are settling over there. But uh, it goes really smoothly. And in a minute, I'll just let it play out. But you'll see the rocket turrets go off, the machine gun turrets. So this was advanced settlement defense. If you guys got any questions or comments, just uh, leave them at the bottom. Thanks for watching. Take care.